geometry exercise 7.1 question number 7 okay uh, now and this is the question 7 find the point on the x axis which is equidistant from 2 5 and minus 2 9 2 minus 5 and minus 2 9 the point is on the x axis any point on the x axis is of the form x comma 0 because x coordinate will be something but y coordinate on the x axis is always 0 therefore we let the point be p which is whose coordinates are x comma 0 this p x comma 0 is equidistant from the point a 2 minus 5 and point b minus 2 9 therefore distances pa is equal to pa and pb are equal pa is equal to pb meaning pa square is equal to pb square so for pa and pb we write the formula using the distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here x2 y2 are the coordinates of a sometime and at time and another in the second one it is b x1 y1 we are taking as p x comma 0 So 2 minus x whole square plus minus 5 minus 0 whole square. Okay, and the whole is squared here. The whole distance formula is squared because p a square we are taking. And then here also minus 2 minus x whole square plus 9 minus 0 whole square, and the whole formula is squared here. Square and the square root symbol. Uh, square of any irrational number. is that particular whole number sub so, root 2 whole square is 2 just like that here this root root symbol will be taken away and then we are left with 2 minus x whole square plus minus 5 minus 0 whole square is equal to minus 2 minus x whole square plus 9 minus 0 whole square let us expand it using the identities algebraic identities here a plus b whole square you take minus x as uh, plus b now and 2 is a so a square 2 square is 4 plus 2 into 2 into minus x right plus x square minus 5 square is 25 minus 5 minus 0 means it is just minus 5 minus 5 square is 25 and on the right hand side again x square that is sorry uh, a plus b whole square a square meaning minus 2 square 4 plus Minus two into two ab, two into minus two into minus x plus x square, and nine minus zero is nine square is eighty one here. Now on either side you can find four with the same symbol, so we can cancel it. We can cancel it. When we cancel four, this one, this four is cancelled. This four is cancelled. x square also has the same symbol so on either side i am cancelling x square and we are left here with 2 2 are 4 into minus x minus 4x this side plus 25 here also 2 2 to the 4 into x of course here minus here minus 2 minus are there minus into minus will become plus it is 4x plus 4x plus 81 this side Now 4x I am taking that side minus 4x minus 4x equal to 81 minus 25. Then it is minus 8x equal to 56 or x equal to 56 divided by minus 7. Ah, uh, that is minus 8. So the point required is in place of x here I am writing minus 8. So minus 8 0 is the answer here. Sir, I have a doubt. Tell me. Sir, isn't it 56 divided by minus 8? Oh, sorry, minus 8. Ah, uh, here. Oh, right, right. You are right, Amma. It is minus 8, and here minus 7 we obtain here. Ah, uh, right. You are right. So here we get minus 7. All right. So answer is minus 7 comma 0. Minus 7 comma 0, not minus 8. Ah, uh, it is minus 7. Good. Good. Find the values of y for which the distance between points p two minus three and q ten y is ten units. 
actually this q must be written little down q the coordinates are 10 and y and the distance between p and q is 10 units that is the question here next so how to proceed with this one simple find use the distance formula find the distance between p and q equate it to 10 that's all those who understood the question try doing it i shall also explain it simultaneously the distance between p and q is given as 10 units okay now we use distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square under square root is the distance between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 here x1 y1 is 2 and minus 3 this is x1 and this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 only y2 value you have to find that's all so 10 minus Ten minus two whole square plus y minus of minus three whole square. So ten minus two is eight square plus y minus of minus three y plus three whole square equal to ten. Now I square on both sides. Therefore, what happens is this square root symbol will be avoided here, and on the right hand side it is square. Ten is squared here. Then 8 square plus y plus 3 whole square equal to 10 square here that is 100. Now 8 square means 64 plus y plus 3 whole square is 100. Therefore y plus 3 whole square alone is equal to 100 minus 64 that is 36. So y plus 3 is equal to square root of 36 that is plus or minus 6 here. So y equal to plus 6 minus 3 that is equal to 3 or minus 6 minus 3 that is equal to minus 9. So once we took plus 6 value plus 6 here, next time we took minus 6 here. And in both the cases this, this uh, left hand side 3 will come as minus 3 only. So once it is 3 or next minus 9. So values of y are 3 or minus 9. Next. This is question 9. If q01 is equidistant from pi minus 3 and r x6, find the values of x. Also find the distance qr and pr. Question is simple and straight. So from q, the points p and r are at equal distances. Meaning, PR, PQ and QR are equal. PQ and QR are equal. Since Q01 is equidistant from P, pi minus 3 and R, X6, PQ is equal to QR. That is understood. Therefore, what we can write, we, let us use here X1 minus X2 whole square plus Y1 minus Y2 whole square. As I told you already, whether it is x2 minus x1 whole square or x1 minus x2 whole square, both will give the same value. Right. So, hence we apply this distance formula and equate PQ and QR, the distances PQ and QR, like this. Phi minus 0 whole square. That is, now P and Q are taken this side on the uh, right hand side, uh, left hand side. So P here this one and Q. So phi minus phi minus 0 whole square plus minus 3 minus 1 whole square is equal to x minus 0 whole square or uh, sorry 0 minus x. 0 minus x whole square and then uh, that means from this side this is x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 like that they are taken so qr means first q you have to consider so 0 minus x whole square 1 minus 6 whole square here p q so p is considered first so 5 minus 0 whole square like this 
So phi square minus 4 square is equal to here minus x square plus minus phi square. Let us square on both sides now. It is uh, phi square 25. Square root will go when you square. So automatic square root I am not considering now. So phi square 25, 4 square 16. Here minus x square means uh, x square and minus phi square means 25. So on either side you can get 25, you can cancel it. This 25 on either side is there, so cancel it. So x square is equal to 16 or x equal to plus or minus 4. So value of x is either plus 4 or minus 4. Therefore r can be 4, 6 or minus 4, 6. 4, 6 on or minus 4, 6. Then on these two points, either r 4, 6 or minus 4, 6, they are equidistant from P and uh, the, the, I mean, uh, uh, sorry, with these two values, we can find the distances QR and PR differently. Let us find out how to find those distances now. Now, up to here, values of Q, values of X are found uh, in point R, X6 is now 4, 6 or minus 4, 6. That up to here we found. We need to find now the distances QR and PR. Let us find them. Now, in the next slide, we will do that. Here we go. When point is 4, 6, distance P, R will be uh, 5, 6, 5, 3 and 4, uh, 5 minus 3, 4, 6. So, 5 minus 4 whole square, like this, 5 minus 4 whole square and minus 3 minus, uh, minus 6 whole square. So, 5 minus 4, that is 1 square, minus 9 whole square, 1 plus 81, that is root 82. So, distance between Q and R will be 0, 1 and 4, 6 again. So, 0 minus 4 whole square plus 1 minus 6 whole square minus 4 square minus 5 square 16 plus 25, that is 41 now. Now, root 82 is 1, root 41 is another. Let us take point as minus 4, 6. Uh, earlier it was 4, 6. Now it is minus 4, 6. So there are two values of x, plus 4 and minus 4. Therefore, point r also will be different, minus 4, 6 or plus 4, 6 also. So with this point, the distances are like this. PR equal to, again, this one you take first, P, 4, uh, pi minus, minus 4 whole square plus minus 3, minus 6 whole square that is 9 whole square plus 9 minus 9 whole square plus 81 minus 81 uh, sorry plus 81 plus 81 so 2 times of 81 for 81 9 is the square root for 2 there is no square root so it is it is coming under the same square root symbol 9 root 2 next distance q r equal to same q is 0 1 minus 4 6 we are taking now so 0 minus of minus 4 plus 4 1 minus 6 whole square that is minus 5 so 16 plus 25 root 41 here there is no change of course but uh, in the first one there is a change so this is how we can find the distances between the points q uh, and r p and r now the last question in this exercise Tenth one. I think have you uh, you all have noted. Uh, I move yes. on to the next one. Yes. Find a relation between x and y such that the point x y is equidistant from points three six and minus 3, 4. There are two points given here and point x, y is equidistant. See, when there are two variables, you can't find the values. Therefore, we can only find a relation between the variables there. That's why it is asked, relation between x and y. Now, point P, x, y is equidistant from A, 3, 6, B, minus 3, 4. So, P, A equal to Pb because 
it is p point p is equidistant therefore we write like this pa equal to pb then what is pa we will understand that is x minus 3 whole square again x1 minus x2 whole square i am writing so x minus 3 whole square plus uh, y minus 6 whole square on the other side first uh, lhs and on the rhs x minus minus 3 that is x plus 3 whole square y minus 4 whole square now square on both sides we will do when we square on both sides you get p a square equal to p b square x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square equal to x plus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 4 whole square then uh, here expand let us expand this one first one x square plus 9 of course a square plus b square minus 2 a b we wrote here a square plus b square is 9 minus 2 a b minus 2 into x into 3 that is minus 6 x here also y square plus b square that is 6 square 36 2 a b 2 into y into 6 that is minus 12 y this side it is x square plus 9 plus 6 x 2 into 3 into x again y square plus 16 minus y into 2 into y into minus 4 that is uh, sorry plus 4 uh, that is minus 8 y on either side you have x square you can cancel it x square can be cancelled on either side even 9 has the plus symbol on either side you can cancel it y square also can be cancelled here y square also can be cancelled here now what else is left out minus uh, plus 36 here and minus 6x minus 12y here 6x plus 16 minus 8y so numbers i am taking to the left hand side first my plus 36 and this minus 16 will go plus 16 will go as minus 16 to the other side and here already we have 6x minus 8y so i'll keep them like that and this minus 6x i'll bring to the left, right hand side as plus 6x and here plus 12 minus 12 y will come this side as plus 12 y then it is 12 x plus 4 y because 12 minus 8 is 4 so is equal to 20 or you can put everything on one side and divide the whole thing by 4 on either side the equation is divided by 4 then here it will be y here it is 3x 3x plus y equal to 5 this is the equation and if you want you put it in a, the standard form for linear equations in two variables you can write like this so this is the uh, actual uh, solution for this particular question mm. next concept in this chapter is section formula what is that called section formula so in section formula we learn how to find the coordinates of a point which divides a line segment joining two given points right so let us take uh, this uh, particular figure here a and b are two points x1 y1 x2 y2 with coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 they are joined so a b is the line segment formed and p is a point which is dividing a b in the ratio m1 is to m2 m1 is to m2 and then we need to find the coordinates of point p of course here a long procedure is given in your textbook uh, all that is not required for you because the proof is not important so what is the value of course here we are, what we do is we use uh, the similar triangles uh, concept to use and compare the triangles APQ and BPC since those two are triangles which are similar to each other because these two lines are AQ and PC are drawn parallel to the X axis therefore the angles here is equal to here or this angle equal to this angle 
these two are right angles therefore these two triangles are similar by aa congruent aa similarity then uh, distances are taken m1 m2 m1 is to m2 are the distances here for these uh, two sides and other sides distances are calculated like this okay x y y minus y1 is uh, y minus y1 is the distance here y1 minus y2 all those are done you may refer to page number 163 and find out how it is done and then final answer only is the important thing for us and you have to by heart this particular formula and how to by heart how to remember the formula also i tell you it is actually very simple 